Hello, and welcome back to another NatWest Pitch Doctor. My name's Chris Wood. I'm the ECB Pitches Consultant Inspector of Pitches. Now, after a long, harsh winter, the cricket ground is once again coming alive in anticipation of the start of another season of our national summer sport. The weather has been exceptional and ideal for getting on with some of those pre-season tasks leading up to the start of the season. So let's go down and check out what should have been done. Now the warmer, sunnier days have stimulated the grass growth on the square. So now we need to drop it steadily to its maintenance height for the summer of half inch, 12 millimetre. Cutting shorter during the course of the summer is a mistake because it will only stress the grasses in times of dry weather or drought. An application of spring summer fertiliser with a nitrogen percentage of around 11 to 14 would be ideal. This will greatly improve the health and strength and vigour of the grasses to withstand another summer season. The soil profile of the square will have been swollen up and heaved by the winter conditions, so pre-season rolling is probably the most important task to be performed. Getting it done will ensure that it is reconsolidated in depth in order to produce the necessary bounce for the players to enjoy and develop their skills. Now there's no hard and fast rule of when and how to do this operation, but it is essential that it's done under the right conditions. That's neither too wet nor too dry, ideally in a plasticine-like condition. As you can see, I like to do lots of cross-rolling at this time because you spend the entire summer rolling from stump to stump. Of course, when you finish this operation, that's the line it should be uh, finished off with. Dependent on your resources and manpower, try to get as much done as you can. If you don't possess a heavy roller, then it may be possible to hire a suitable one for a period. This operation, if done correctly, could reduce your pitch preparation time down during the course of the season. Our next most important operation is to square off the square for the forthcoming season. We start with our baseline on the stump line and it's a very good idea that once it's been established, we set permanent corner markers. Uh, you can use a bit of pipe in, uh, fill it with white in, whatever. Once they're in, uh, they're a permanent identification of where the stump lines are. And in this point, we've got a little cone. But they can move uh, from spiking or swelling. So we need to re-establish these baselines and make sure that they're accurate and the 66 foot by using the 345 triangle method. By using our known baseline, we are going to use a measurement of 30 foot. Now, the bigger the measurement, the better the accuracy of the 90 degree angle. So we're going to use 30 foot for this baseline and 40 foot to our sideline. And now we see the triangle formed, what we have to do now is get the 40 to meet the 50. Turn, Ian's going to move over and adjust the peg. We'll move the line over accordingly and we'll adjust the line, tighten it and we'll have a true 90 degree angle to form our square. Now that we've established our true right angle, our next step is to establish all our pitches for the summer by identifying them at the 10 foot strips. Ian is putting in pegs, Dan is going to come and put T marks into place and this will identify each strip for the summer. We can then number them. On this square is 140 foot, we have 14 pitches so it can be numbered 1 to 14. We can then identify our fixtures uh, before the season starts, bearing in mind, of course, your most important fixtures are in the centre. We can set out a pre-plan. 